welcome back to the final part of tonight's show. Now, Trisha Lewis, she's hard at work in the kitchen here. Trisha, remind us of what's on the menu tonight. Perfect. So I'm going to do an Italian chicken bake um, mm. in celebration for Mother's Day and Sunday. Oh, nice. So my mother, she loves anything Italian, and I suppose it reminds you of our first holiday in Rome last year. We could you do for the a whole... lot of pasta and a lot of cream. So. <laughs> yeah. Trisha, <laughs> could you do the whole recipe now in an Italian accent? Um, do that for us? Yeah, I yeah. suppose anything would be better than the accent that I have. No, right. I love your accent. <laughs> no, 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 you've got a gorgeous accent. Right, where are we starting? Pasata. Okay, so all of the ingredients I'm using are from Aldi. So Lovely. if you're looking yeah. for anything on Sunday, just pop in. There's a load of different ones. I'm using local kind of West Cork mozzarella. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, so it's all oh. local produce as well. Yeah, yeah. as much as possible. Yeah. So even the chicken, it's all board we approved. Mm -hmm. Lands into the store every single day. So I have some chicken breasts mm -hmm. and tomato pasta, onions and garlic. And the wonderful thing about cooking is pop, pop it all in together mm. and if the ingredients are good enough, they should do the magic themselves. Okay. You're just going to mix it and then you're going to season it well. This is not on any heat well. right the, now yet. This is just a bowl, is it? What? This is not on any heat, is it? Or no, no. This right. is just a bowl. Right. 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 That marinade no in it. I was like, okay. there's chicken in the rim. <laughs> <laughs> so season it up well. Always season your food at the start so yep. it enhances the flavour. Mm. Add in your chicken stock. Really easy. And then some balsamic vinegar to give it a bit of a basic flavour. What you're going to do is you're going to put it in the tray and then it's going to cook away in the oven and complement each other happy out. That's everything all, all in one go? Lump it all, all in? in one go and right. if you're under pressure and if you're busy and you're a busy mother and you're cooking for Mother's Day, mm -hmm. you can have this ready the day before. It'll be perfect. The whole idea yeah, though, surely, handy, Trisha, it? is for Mother's Day is that you get it cooked for you. The, on the, yeah. at, the, at the very least, the one day the Well, year. Mary Lewis will definitely be getting it cooked for her. <laughs> She's getting this one. She, yeah. She'll just put it in the fridge when you get home. <laughs> well, in fairness, she did teach me everything I know about cooking, so I'm going to give her a break and let her so examine do you go all out then for Mother's Day for Mary? I would, yeah, yeah. Really? Now, I need sisters, so we have to be very careful oh, in how many boxes of chocolates we give because <laughs> she's good. She's like a squirrel, kind of hoarding them, going, oh, really? no oh. chocolates yet. And we're like, we better get them. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So we do go all out, we do spoil her, but this year obviously is a little bit different, but yeah. we'll still spoil, spoil Mammy. Uh, distancy, as, as yeah. much as you can, right. Here is this mozzarella, and it's from Lynch's in West Cork, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And what you're going to do is just simply slice it. This is the one that comes in the bag, is it? It does. The bag with the water. Yeah. Oh, I hate oh. that water. Oh, it's the worst, isn't it? You just have to, oh. It's like, a, I don't know, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not very nice. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so and delicious, even though the presentation of it, you're like, oh, God, what just plopped out there? <laughs> and it changes almost flavour when it's cooked as well. Cheese does it in general, doesn't it? So yes, it unbelievable. Yeah. And the good thing about mozzarella, it's really versatile, so mm. you can add loads of strong flavours against it and it won't yeah, overpower the yeah, dish. Yeah, it's really mild. So happy days, you're just, it's so easy. Sometimes I'd be cooking something and I'm like, should I be adding something else different? But flavours yeah. are there to be yeah. kind of enhanced. And I suppose I became brand ambassador for Aldi in May of 2020. So since then, I suppose they're like, well, you should get out of the store. I'm always kind of creeping around, looking for different dishes glass. to right. do and stuff. Yeah, oh, brilliant. So you kind of come up with them, yeah. Your, your sea salt right. and black pepper on top. And then you're going to put it in the oven at 200 degrees mm -hmm. for 30 minutes. And always check your chicken, check the thickest part of the chicken yeah. and then you know it's done. Okay. Yeah, so in it goes. Nice. Seems very simple, Trish. Isn't it? Yeah, Trish, I, I follow you on Instagram. I love watching all your little cooking. You I know, know it's Instagrams. great crack. I love it. And I'm at home, like, setting up, like, I did a cooking class yeah. on Monday. And I was like, so good, butcher. The hob was up on top of a lamb shade box. I was oh, trying so, to I know, set I, I, everything up, but I was like, be feel, professional. Yeah. It's now so we're going to serve it really simply with a rocket and parmesan salad with some fresh pear. Okay. Mm. That's what it is. So I have the pear, julienne, so pear. cut into. Yeah, it's oh, beautiful. yeah, a bit of sweetness yeah, into the sweetness into it, and then yeah. the saltiness of the parmesan. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, nice. What does julienne do mean? It means kind of nice thin sticks. Chopped up. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Chopped, 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 chopped up. Don't up. tell anyone I've been saying yeah, it for right years. It, that, that must be the old Italian coming out in your yeah. area. The julienne's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but here in Ireland, it's chopped up, chopped up small. So I go to julienne. Right, OK. Add in our parmesan. Then start loads dressing. of Parmesan in there, oh, Tricia. Loads of it. But it's for two, so. Mm. OK, fair <laughs> enough. And it's Mother's Day. You can't be telling her about calories on Mother's Day. <laughs> is, is, exactly. the dressing, is it a vinegar dressing or is it just yeah. A, yeah. so it's balsamic vinaigrette. So oh, some nice. olive oil, some balsamic, balsamic yeah. into the dish, and away it goes. When you're doing a, any kind of salad, make sure that you don't go aggressive with the leaves. It has to be nice and gentle. OK. So you just spin it around and away you go. And I'm going to pop this into this bowl that my 12-year-old nephew made. Isn't oh. that so cool? <laughs> oh, he made that little wooden one, didn't yeah. he? What's his Owen name? Owen, 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 Owen Handley. Oh, hello, Owen. Oh, my well, God, on. I have 13 nieces and nephews. They're oh, all going to be <laughs> raging. Come on, then. Oh, Who are they? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Eva, Owen, William, Pierce, Amy, Lucy, Jack, Oren, Dylan, Luke, Dean, Danny and Ellie. Oh, God, if I've forgotten one, Leslie G. Oh, no, that, that's <laughs> impressive. The next... Oh, by the way, give a round of applause. Yay. for them all.
Uh, the next time Trish is on, she's going to have 13 bowls laid out. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack, get on it. <laughs> so, that's the salad that we're going to serve her with. That's cute. And it's really, really simple. And then you're mm. just going to pop it into a bowl, and away you go. Right. It's so tasty. Lovely. Where's my bread or my chips? Where's my... I know. So garlic? I have no. to have one or the other now, oh, definitely. Right. <laughs> we'll have garlic bread we'll or chips. do some bit of sacrifice in for it. Well, it's Mother's We need day. a carb. We need a carb. To, I know. To, to, you do. Yeah. Need, you can serve, like, rice or rice, pasta, okay. sweet potato, yeah. boiled potatoes. You can serve anything with this, really, by supposed yeah. to the nicest thing would be something like maybe fresh pepper deli or tortellini or something like that. Yeah, tortellini nice. would be Yeah, yeah. tortellini is beautiful and it cooks really fast. There's ones yeah, in Italy at the moment, mm. spinach ones. Yeah. And it's in four minutes. I was oh, like, right. like yes. a spinach, spinach pasta. Yeah, yeah. absolutely nice, yeah. gorgeous. So, yeah. how long do you say you're putting that in the oven for? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And there's a good bit of sauce in that as well. So, like, yeah. if you did it with a pasta, that kind of a And thing. the sauce is really simple. Like, it's tomato passata. So, right. you know, if you're making, like, lasagnas for kids and everything, it's not very high in sugar and stuff. Yeah. So, it's a really good one you to You'd often go. see that passata in a jar, wouldn't you? Like, yeah. a big, large yeah. jar. Because I it... love this one. This is the best is one. Is that just... Yeah. Is it just pureed tomato? Is yeah. that what it is? It's, it's all something else. And kind of passed through maybe a fine sieve. So, it's yeah. pure tomato is okay. what you're getting. So, it's not it. chopped. Like, it's just the pure... Yeah. Absolutely okay. gorgeous. Am I getting fed tonight at all, or what? what? Oh, you were indeed. So here's one I prepared earlier. I'm oh, yeah. I've got a long enemy. I need to put it on for half an hour. So now. I'm looking over. Me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, that's only on for three minutes. I'm like, eat no. it. <laughs> so it comes out like this, absolutely simple, and then you can get some fresh basil, garnish it on top, and away you go. Let's have a look yeah. at that. That yeah. looks up. It's absolutely. We'll get this one out of the way. There's no need for it. Yeah, go on. <laughs> it looks, it I there. always think as a chef, it looks better in the dish. All those lovely little caramelised bits on the edge. As it's bubbling and simmering away. Look yeah. at that. Ready to... Oh, that looks gorgeous. Yeah, it's so easy. And, like, you can yeah. just... Even kids will have it. Anyone will have it. It's just tasty. Yeah, or you can chop up the chicken as well if it was for kids yeah. or we have it pre-chopped, yeah. yeah. And you can do so many different things. Like, if you want it even the next day to kind of have it cold, you can have that in a salad then. Just take your chicken out. Mm. Because what's after happening is all the sauce is flavouring the chicken. And it's oh, delicious. Yeah, it's really and does it keep... I, I want to ask you, how, like, if I was to do that tonight, how long would it last? It would last... So, with yeah. all the chicken, because the chicken is delivered fresh every day in store, yeah. you'll get three good days. So, it's, it's an ideal days. for yeah. batch cooking. So, cooked ideal. chicken, if it's fresh, will last yeah. three yeah. days. So, always keep yeah. in mind, the use-by date are the best before. So, the use-by okay. date and the best before are totally different. Yeah. Best before, it's at its best produce, like myself yeah. in my good years. <laughs> and then the use best by date has to be, it's gone after that. So like I brought that yesterday, that will last today, tomorrow and the day after. Lovely. Oh. Very handy now, lads. It looks fabulous. So my mother would be delighted. We were in Rome last year and it was just so much fun. We were like, are we going here for praying now or for pasta, ma'am? Yeah. She was like, stop that now. <laughs> she'd, be throw, she'd be throwing the, the, the leaves back at you and asking you for garlic bread. <laughs> oh, she so calls the rabbits. <laughs> she could, whenever I meet in my salad, she's like, how's the rabbit food? I'm like, it's fabulous, ma'am. Trisha Lewis, what a legend. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Yeah. Beat the bulge. We'll, we'll beat yeah. the bulge. We'll have a bite to eat now shortly. Uh, that's all we've got time for. Uh, before we go, thank you for all of your messages, uh, some lovely messages, and uh, we'll pass them all on to Maureen and her family. Uh, after the sad news yesterday that her dad passed away yesterday, we are thinking of her and her family, and of course you are as well. Thank you for all the messages, and a big thank you to all of our guests as well, and to Tricia for the delicious Italian chicken bake too. Yeah, and we're back tomorrow for a COVID update from Professor Luke O'Neill, so stay safe and good night. Mind yourself. Oh, Jesus, I'm after dropping the iPad. See ya. <laughs> See you tomorrow.